Have you ever commissioned an architect before? Well, this video gives you an idea of the process that we go through to help you as our client. Whether you have an existing building or a blank site for a new build development, I'm gonna give you the process now from stage zero to stage seven of the RIBA plan of work to help you understand the process that you go through when you commission those architects. Once we've understood the brief, we can then put together a scope of services with a fee proposal that takes you from the beginning to end of the journey. Usually, this is defined by two main stages, planning and building regs. Our fee proposals go through what we call DocuSign, which is a digital signing process, and we get all the elements out there at the beginning, such as the payment stages and what's included at those stages, so you are fully clear when to pay and ultimately what to expect. Once you've commissioned us and we're on board, we're all systems go with a measured survey if it's an existing building or a site analysis if it's a new build development on a fresh piece of land. At this point, we will then be able to establish as built information and it's our starting point for our sketch stage, the fun part. This is where we then develop the sketch options. With plans and 3Ds, we can then take you through that journey of understanding the brief of what that would look like in sketch format. Understanding it through a video call on Zoom, where we can actually walk you through the proposals in 3D, or you can come into the studio, meet the team and experience it in our virtual reality room, which is a fantastic experience for most because you can actually see it built with the goggles on and understanding the materials and the lighting in more detail. Once you've had a chance to experience the design, we enter the refinement stage. This is where we really start to sharpen up the design and offer you a way through to a pre-app consultation with either the council or anybody else that may be involved or that needs consulting with prior to going in for the planning application which is the first regulatory body approval that we need. The planning application process. Scary for some, but it shouldn't. We can help you all the way through the application as your agent. Whether you're an existing residential client who will need a householder planning application for their home, extension remodeling, or if you're a new build eco home or one-off house builder or multiple, or even a commercial client, the idea there is that you would need a full plan application. There are different variations. If you're commercial, you might need advertisement consent, for signage, etc., or a change of use, listed building application. Or if you're a new build homeowner, it's a full plan application, ultimately on a site, ready to go, with an eight-week planning process with the local authority understanding that there can be some delays sometimes through extensions of time if further information is required but we can talk you through that process as we go. The big wait, so this is now the planning application period and it should take eight weeks but like I say sometimes through third parties or ultimately external factors can take a bit longer but either way we help you through whether it be an objection through a consultee or a neighbour or if the planning officer wants some changes, we'll help you compromise and make those decisions the best way forward for you to obtain the ideal outcome. The decision. So once we've got our planning approval, whether it took eight weeks as a residential client or 12 weeks or more, depending on the commercial solution required, or indeed if there was just issues throughout, we will then assess the application understand if there are any conditions which might need discharging before work can commence. We can then provide you with a fee proposal for the second approval stage in any project in the UK, building regulations. First things first, we would establish the specification, ultimately assessing the design criteria for taking this project of yours through to construction. We need to detail it up we need to get a structural engineer involved. You might want a quantity surveyor, or ultimately an interior designer too, for those finishing touches that are really important for your development. We ultimately coordinate the project for you as lead architect on the job. 
we will then go out to tender for you to several contractors, some that we can recommend, others that you might put forward, and we'll make sure we can ascertain the cost and the time of when they could start the works. Then the real fun begins, when they're actually on site undertaking the works, whether it's in your home, or it's a new build development, or it's ultimately a commercial development work in an existing building that's really important for your business. We can help at this point coordinate information flow, understanding what information is needed at key times, working with the building control officer and the contractor, to ensure that your project is done as close to time and your budget as possible. There are always external factors at play, variables on site, and we'll always be there to try and help you understand that information and ultimately what comes next. So once all the work's been completed, we'll come down for a visit, make sure all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted, and that you're happy with the project. And it's at this stage what we call in the industry is the handover. Whether it's a new home or existing residential property or a commercial property for a business to start their new venture, it's really important to make sure that everything's been completed and that you can now celebrate. I hope you found that video useful and you're now a bit more informed about how to commission an architect and the process going through planning to building regs and on site as well. We'd love to hear your project briefs now and ultimately talk about how we can give you 30 minute free consultation and hopefully see you in the studio.